Hey guys, we're back out here in the shop. Um, no, we have not given up on that donkey engine. You guys see right over here? Yeah, we're still waiting on epoxy to cure. And so it's been a long time of waiting. <clears throat> 24 hours for, well, four days now. And uh, yeah, four days. I don't think I'm going to get a video out on that donkey engine. So, I'll tell you what, we've got another one here. I'll bring it up here. We'll throw it up here on the bench. We'll open it up. Same thing we do every time. And uh, we'll see what we got. Okay. Yep. Terribly out of focus. And you guys can't see anything. But we're going to cut it open. Well. I'll skin this thing, and we'll get it laid out. All right. Well, I did skin it, and I, well, it's upside down. Still can't read it. Cut it open. You cut it open. You guys probably can't see too much, but... Yeah, that's reassuring. Let's see what we got inside of here. There's enough bubble wrap wrapped around this thing that uh, I probably could have just floated it over here. <laughs> I ain't kidding, guys. There's 12 foot of bubble wrap. Okay, well, this didn't turn out at all like I expected. Cut this tape loose. And... Huge ignition system. All right. Get things into focus. We'll see what we got laying here. All right, guys. Well, here it is in all of its glory. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I have done absolutely nothing to this engine except take it out of the box. And unfortunately, guys, this is all that we have that goes with it. We don't have any instructions. This looks like a 10th uh, grade science project. Watch the run out on the flywheel here. Um, yeah. Well, if it runs, it runs. We've got well, our battery box, which takes eight AA batteries. So it's a 12 volt system, and uh, well, it appears that it takes a full size spark plug, and the boot. Well, well, that I guess that works. We have random air induction into our power piston. Um, I'm assuming that this works like a, uh, well, like a reed engine. All right, let me get busy. Okay, well, hopefully you guys can see what we've got going on here. We've got this big cylinder shoving into the small cylinder. And then we've got a... Uh, well, this itty bitty valve right here to open it. So it's essentially a two cycle that you can see how everything works. I do have power hooked up. 
we'll turn the ignition on we're going to check to see if we have spark it doesn't sound like it wow great let me figure that out Okay, the problem with the ignition was we had loose connection. Watch this. <laughs> it's got a buzz coil also. Check out the amazing finish. And through here. The flywheel is nothing more than a caster wheel. <laughs> in the ignition pooped great wow alright well I think I have the ignition enough to run this for as long as we're going to attempt but with this ripped hole pull this off We'll cut the end off of it, and so that way we know we don't have an air leak. Unless that was intentional, that'll be very easy to put back in. There. That problem's fixed. Hopefully. Okay. Well, since we have no instructions, I'm guessing that our, uh, fuel is going to come into here maybe there are check valves on this side i don't know guys i've never played one of these so yeah all right well i'll get this hooked up we'll put some fuel in here and we'll probably run that uh vp 40 50 to 1 just so we know that's what we've run and everything and we'll go through and <laughs> wow we'll oil this we'll fire it up and we'll see what happens we'll try to fire it up we'll see what happens okay well we've got our fuel in here it's that same you know vp 90 ethanol 40 to 1 50 to 1 which is what they've changed it into now um it's the same fuel we've ran in hell everything so, all right, well, what do you guys think? Straight 30 oil? All right, we'll oil this thing up, and uh, yes, we're going to hope for the best. I don't have the highest of hopes for this, but I'll tell you what, it is, it is an engine. And if we can make it run, absolutely, we're going to enjoy this. And, uh, everything turns freely. Well, let's turn our ignition system on here. I have no, like I said, I have no instructions, so... Okay. See what happens. Okay. All right. Well, I was checking to see. That uh, wear hole right here was not accidental. It needs to have room to breathe air. I'm sure that that's way too big, but... Okay. Power's back on.
still no ignition. This is a nice unit, guys. Wow. Holy shit, it runs. Wow. Good <laughs> lord. I honestly didn't think this would be a running engine. Wow, guys, <laughs> I am truly, uh, pretty much speechless. Pinch this line. Hear the ignition? See what happens. <laughs> wow. Guys, this is probably the coolest thing I've seen in quite a while. It tries to die, but it It catches itself. I guess we had a better ignition system. <laughs> this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Let me turn this thing around so you guys can see it from the other side. <laughs> oh, don't die now. I was having fun. Okay, we've got it turned around, guys. I'll turn the switch on and watch how easy this thing is to start. This makes absolutely no sense to me because there, no, the switch is off. There is no compression at all. But 
we turn the switch on. You could buy this engine for a hundred and twenty-five dollars on uh, uh oh you can buy this engine for a hundred and twenty-five dollars. It's the cheapest engine that engine DIY sells. And guys, I really wanted to hate this thing. But good lord, look at it. It makes no sense. I'll shut it off. And you put it at the right spot. Right here. And turn it on. And it will fire. <laughs> this stupid thing just runs. How cool is that? I mean... Come on, guys. you got to love this. It makes no sense to me. I'll pull you in closer. It needs to have this slot in it. Yes, the cylinder does get very hot. Oh, I suppose we ought to put some liquid in here. Guys, this stupid thing runs. There's no reason why it should. <laughs> we can close that off and choke it down a little bit. <laughs> what a crazy, crazy little engine. Guys, we might mug you with this whole assembly and uh, kind of doll it up and make it look like something. But the way it is, for the price point, guys, you can't beat this. How fun is that? Alright guys, well, hey, it's not a donkey engine. Probably the craziest thing you guys have seen on YouTube probably all night. So, alright guys. Well, hey, thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, well, yeah, click right there on that hole. <laughs> I'll see you guys soon. We'll get back on that donkey engine.